Here's everything that was added this week in Adventure Quest Worlds. Alright, there was a new helmet added in the vault. So if you come to the vault, you delete your old helmet, you can get a new one. If you don't want to delete it, you can store it in your bank and then get the new one for that week without getting rid of the old one. But uh, yeah, that's how you can do it. I, didn't, I haven't got it, but it looks like this. You see it on J6's Twitter. And this is the one that's in game right now. So if you want that helmet, bank your other one or delete it and uh, get the new helmet. For a seal's birthday in Underworld, you can get the Hollowborn Calamity Staff. Now, it's eye color CC, which is a turnoff for a lot of people. It's also rare, which makes people want to get it. So if you want an eye color CC staff, you can get it in the Underworld. Uh, you run where my character's running if you've never been to the Underworld. You probably have, but uh, you go to the Frozen Pyromancer if you know where that is. You can skip forward in the video. If you don't know where that is, follow my character. It's just all the way to the right here. and you get to the Frozen Pyramids that way. Now, I really hope they stop doing these color custom eye color items. You can see that people are fighting the Pyromancer. You get dropped off of there. I don't know what percentage it is, but uh, I got it pretty quickly, to be honest. It didn't take that long. Probably like 5% or something like that. And it is rare, so pick it up if you want it. It's not AC tagged, but uh, yeah, it's a good weapon there in the Underworld. There was a bad shop added for the Battle Mage, so you get $10 or more, you use the upgrade on your account, you get the whole drift of that. Here's quickly what the bad shop looks like. There's dual and single version of these swords, which are probably my favorite part of the whole package. I'm not going to equip absolutely everything in here for the sake of time. You can see the scale of the axes and stuff like that. Uh, there's some few hammers, dual and uh, single versions of, I think every weapon has a dual and single version, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's a few armors in here, which aren't the worst looking. Not too bad. <laughs> a little overboard on the muscles here. <laughs> Looks like a mutant or something. Uh, pretty crazy. But, uh, yeah. There's a few helmets. I don't really have a lot to say. You can pretty much see it all. If you see one thing, there's just two versions of everything. The capes are probably the highlight of the whole the whole thing, other than the swords. Capes and swords are probably my favorite part. A few pets in there. There's just the blades. So, yeah. There's the a bad shop there for you. If you want to get it, it's 10 bucks. So, consider picking it up. Baleen has returned as an NPC for an event, which hasn't happened in quite a while. I think the last one was like a Chibi Nogath one years ago. So that's pretty cool that they're bringing her back. And that's to introduce the, or to move in to the Valentine's Day update, I'm pretty sure. So in this merch shop, this is all of the items that are in the new event for this week that I know of, to my knowledge. Uh, there could be drops from the miscellaneous monsters around and really check that. Um, but... There is one drop off the boss, and that's the pet I have equipped right now. The pet is member AC tagged, so if you have a membership and yeah, it's AC tags, so you can start in a bank, you can get that pet if you want it. Now, that's the whole event. Uh, yeah, kind of weird. It, on the design notes, it's listed as Into the Deep Challenge Boss and uh, May Battle Mage Upgrade. So that's what's listed as this week's um, content. Next week will be the Carnival of Love Part 1, and then a few days later on the Monday, after that weekend, it will be a battle concert, and then concert awards on that Friday, and then another Part 2 for the end of the month, and that's the whole list of February content right there if you haven't seen that yet. So, yeah, nothing until next Friday for AQ content. So, yeah, kind of interesting. That is all of the stuff that was added this week for AQ. Uh, so you can go farm the staff, you can go get the new J6 helmet, or you can do the merch stuff for the event if you want to. Thanks for watching the video. Leave a like if you liked it. Comment down below. Helps out the video. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Check out my Twitter. Peace.